I have many Big B stories, but I guess one of my favorite ones was the time we were cruising around Buffalo, New York. We were there for the seventh annual Native American Music Awards. And we had rented a car and we were just checking out kind of the scenes around Buffalo and Niagara Falls and whatnot. And we came across a, a park and all of a sudden this squirrel came running across. And it, 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 the squirrel stood out though. It was different from all the other squirrels because it was a black colored squir squirrel. And then somebody, this is where I learned the word chamuckley. And so we just got the biggest laugh out of that. And I don't even know why we were laughing about the squirrel now. It was just a, a, an odd time. And but one of the times that I can remember that we were truly like having a gut busting laugh over something that didn't even matter in the, in the grand scope of the world, but it was fun nonetheless. Ooh, I gotta say double feature, man. Um, double feature because it was a good collaboration with Nate Winishet and but Double Feature really shows the maturity of how Big B has gone from, from just kind of a young artist with not a lot of structure in his, in his songwriting, and that's not a slam, um, but it's more of a storytelling album, and if you listen to the lyrical content in each and every songs that, that are on that album, they all mean something to about something probably a reflection on his own life or other things that he's witnessed but as a listener of that album you can pretty much apply some of the situations he raps about on that album to your own life and gain some kind of sense of understanding that's why pain in the ass absolute the guy's tough he's hard nosed he's you know brutus that's what we call him no none of that's true though uh, Brutus is a nice guy. He's a go-getter, man. He likes to get his projects done. He stays focused and working with them. I'd say, you know, it's always it's always going to be fun to work with somebody that you actually have a good kind of friendship relationship with, um, as opposed to even though like he's my boss, it's not like that here at KWSO. So it's it's more like we're on the same level, and he treats us as equals. And so working with him is just an absolute cool pleasure and, and you know it's just cool to work for somebody who's going to be famous someday and hopefully they'll remember you that you actually worked with them hmm long hair definitely if you cut your hair ladies you are done you are uh well i won't say you're done he'd probably ask you to buy a wig though definitely long hair and so if you are female and you have long hair Good for you. Groove Central Radio. Groove Central was, um, you know, it was good for that urban, for people that appreciate urban kind of R&B rap music and appreciate the fact that it was Native American artists featured on that program. It was an awesome program. Um, unfortunately, in the there's always a battle in the world um, with free speech. And so, and in, in that battle of free speech, there's always gonna be, be people who are very critical of the language used in songs. And so that ultimately kind of became the demise of Groove Central Radio in that, in that not everybody appreciated each and every song for its lyrical content. Uh, Groove Central Radio, I thought it was a success. Many stations, I understand, picked it up. And, you know, I think, I think it's a program that's going to be missed. 